So this is the first of these uh, movie type recordings that um, Amy suggested we do after important meetings. Uh, we had a meeting this morning with staff from the Department of uh, Economic Development, Jobs, Transport and Resources, also known as Dead Jetta, and they gave us a rundown on their work program for the coming year and the role that we might be able to play in that. So to take it through in no particular order, uh, there is an energy efficiency and productivity statement coming out from the government very soon, maybe as soon as next week. Uh, that'll also be accompanied by a energy efficiency summit to be held on the 25th of August at the uh, Exhibition and Convention Centre. There's no details yet about who's coming to that and also the structure and format of that, but both of those together will help form the government's response to uh, energy efficiency and its work program going forward. We also had a quick briefing on environmental upgrade agreements. Um, these, of course, were introduced to the lower house in Victoria yesterday. Uh, and all going well if it gets through with not much uh, argy-bargy from the politi politicians, um, we expect it to be actually enacted and operational uh, beyond the boundaries of the City of Melbourne by early 2016. There was an update on VEAT, the consultation period for that has closed. The idea of how to set the target and what level to set a target for VEAT uh, is with the Minister at the moment. Uh, staff are also considering options of uh, new technologies and uh, new approaches that might be considered um, and those include things like roof insulation and also more complex projects where you might bring together a number of technologies in the one which is going to be suitable for larger businesses. There was a discussion about the Renewable Energy Action Plan which is really a set of measures designed to attract investment in renewable energy to Victoria in competition with other states. Uh, consultation on that will commence in August. The details of that are very light on at the moment. In the new energy technology stream, there were two main pieces of work. The first was a strategy paper, uh, which will set out what is Victoria's role in new energy uh, technology. Um, and that will be out for comment in July and August and for consultation with a final version expected around September. That'll be accompanied by, and I'm not sure whether one naturally follows the other or they just are going to be around the same time, uh, the launch of the New Energy Jobs Fund, which was a pre-election campaign pledge of around $20 million. And while it has a jobs focus, it's actually probably a bit broader than we originally anticipated it might be. Um, so things like community energy projects, uh, some energy efficiency projects might be uh, applicable for this. Um, we also think that the, it will not only be just funding project work, but it also may go to fund some uh, business development work, some you know, idea of developing a business case to lead on to a project into the future. So that's a quick rundown of all the projects that we were talked through today.